So I want these set as perfectly as I can get. Very good. Now you can use a um, copy paper, carbon paper, um, bluing in here to find out where your contact area is if you want to be real precise about this. Um, but again, to, go, to, to give you a little bit of a review, this lower die post moves fore and aft and the upper, work, the upper uh, clamping bracket swings left and right. It'll even move directly left and right because the holes are oversized. So this allows you to position this. The lower bracket also slides fore and aft. So you get, you get quite a bit of adjustment. But like I say, these things are made in a jig, so we, we have the tolerances pretty well set. Now when it comes to the uh, air inlet system, what we have provided here is a, is a, this is a, this is a fully assembled unit of the, the regulator, the, the nut, the little bracket, and the two uh, offsets with the uh, shorty air hose on it. What you get is the, uh, the bare bracket. You get the regulator in the box with the nut. And uh, you get a bag of fittings like this that has uh, the elbows in there. Uh, you'll have to use some rector seal, which I like. It's a, it's a very good material for sealing threads and, and makes things very, very tight. The uh, uh, true flate fitting here goes in the back. This goes down to the uh, foot control, and we have a quick release on that. You get this, you get this nine foot or 10 foot air hose. And you get the foot control like this with the fittings. The fittings are all in the bag. When you take out the air unit, or the, I'm sorry, when you take out the foot control, <clears throat> you'll, have, you'll have two points and then they're marked inlet and outlet. So you'll take these long uh, bushings here and you want to put the inlet in first and then the outlet. Now you may have to take out the rubber grommets in order to do so. You may even have to uh, sand a little bit on the threads to get them to feed in because it can be just a little bit uh, tight. Another thing that you can do is loosen the screws that hold the little um, uh, valve body inside the canister here and get these in and then tighten this back down again. But either way, what you end up with is a, is a foot control that looks like this with the two... Uh, um, with the two long nipples coming out of them, you have a union on one side, you have the uh, uh, inlet coming from your air supply. This goes up to the air hammer. There's a fitting on the side of the hose here to hold it on the side of the frame. We'll start putting that on. Good to have a selection of Allen wrenches here to do this assembly. It takes three or four different sizes. I usually leave this a little bit loose so it rocks. This comes forward onto the regulator bracket. Okay, what I'm doing is, is um, bolting the bracket down. I've got the bracket set so the Z is forward. This enables the, the regulator gauge to be visible at all times to make sure that you you understand the range of air pressure as you're as you're using the hammer okay I've got the regulator and the bracket assembly tightened down I'll put the quick connect for the air inlet onto the regulator the regulator is able to move a little bit up and down uh, with the different altitudes of air units that are available for this it's a necessity and you can simply put this on the air unit. I, I set one side of the clamp tight because this clamp rocks around the air unit and then the other side tightens to the particular height that I need. <clears throat> 